friends, today I'm going to take a look at this new game that I got from Kickstarter. Now, recently I did a video about upcoming Kickstarters and it was sort of a race to see who would make it first. Uh, this is number two. So in the silver for the games that arrived to me <laughs> earliest this year is Damask. Now Damask is a, is a set collecting game that uh, is in the theme of the textile industry. I, I really don't know much about fabric, which is, as it turns out. And I don't know much about patterns and that sort of thing. I do know that sometimes I'll see a game on the table in a preview or something like that, and it, I was instantly kind of drawn to it. It looks like the kind of game that my family would enjoy playing. And because there's absolutely, at the time of making this video, there are no unboxings of this on the internet. And when that happens, it's time to strike. And today we strike by unboxing Damask. So this game has a few mechanisms that seem very similar to Azul and, uh, and games like that. So I'm curious to see if this is something we'll really enjoy. It has sort of a, it has an interesting thing in the middle that's sort of, I think it's a loom. <laughs> Probably wrong on that, but it could, it's uh, but it's, it's sort of like a loom, and you'll be collecting these pieces of fabric. It, it's abstract. The fabric are little blocks of wood. But bear with me. Let's see what this thing looks like here. All right, so uh, here we have the rule book. It is very thin. It's one of those big floppy kinds of rule books, and we've got it. Looks like a nice explanation. Uh, setups it's got like twelve steps in it. Then how to play starts on page, don't see a page number. One, two, three, four. Yep, about four pages, not a lot of rules. This is gonna be easy to pick up. Now I've watched a couple of rules videos, but those were with a um, prototype. And so uh, I don't know. We've got some instructions for assembling the loom and the little card holders and stuff. I'm going to set that aside. And here we have it. All right. A pretty standard punch board. Uh, it seems a little... Oh, okay. <laughs> I lost one of my pieces already. I'll have to go track that down. But we got our... Uh, this is money that you'll be earning... And it's got the little paper coins. Seems pretty typical. Uh, I'm trying to remember how well this thing did. It, this was a game found campaign. I is one of the one of the first ones I backed. I can't remember if I backed this one first or something else. But uh, when Game Found came on as as an as an alternative to Kickstarter and other crowdfunding things. There might be other things too. Well, now I know there is, because like Backer Kid, I guess, decided to do uh, something also. So these things here, uh, at the top, these are gonna be like, these are kind of like little card holders. I guess they're gonna assemble. There's some in assembly instructions. And as you complete the sets of cards, you're gonna slot them in here to say that they're finished. And the order that you get them uh, finished in will grant you points in some way. But I will be, I'll have to assemble and organize this here in a minute. In fact, I guess what I'll do is I'm going to unbox and rebox this. So I'm, I'm going to box it, I'm going to unbox it, I'm going to organize this, and then we'll put it back. And we'll see how it goes back. All right. These are mostly the same. These are little player boards that give you... Um, uh, for your extra pieces, the ones you can't slot into a piece of fabric are going to go on these little these little boards here. Uh, and these things will represent, uh, these will represent sort of objectives for the round. And so what you'll do is you, there's going to be a stack of these. You're going to randomly pick them out and you're going to flip them over. So in whatever round it is, blue will be a color that gets you extra points. And sometimes there'll be patterns and sometimes it'll be uh, a special specific pattern that'll give you more points or, or less points. So, well, never less points, but always more points. Anyway, uh, it gave us some bags to sort things out in. We'll use those for sure. Uh, we've got a little uh, clippy thing. If you play Unmatched, you've probably seen these things a million times before. And this is going to be to assemble the loom. We're going to just put that over here. 
Uh, we've got some cloth bags. You're going to be pulling, uh, you're pulling these cards and the cubes out of these bags, and they're they're nice quality. Oh, oh, I see. It. It's got little uh, got little spools on this one, and it got like, patterns on this one. So I bet this is for the cards, and this must be for the for the fabric. And the fabric, of course, is represented by little wooden cubes. Now this fits in mechanically with their little, it's not a rondelle, I guess. Is it? I need to Google rondelle. I'm through using words before I Google them first. Kind of big enough I can get my hand in there and shallow enough too that my fingers fit. I have pretty big hands, so I have trouble with some of these things. I, I don't know why we're, we're, we're pulling cards out of the bag. It looks like, looks like all the cards would fit in here. So storage wise, that's kind of got that solution settled. <laughs> But we're going to put those aside over here too. We've got more sorting bags. We've got a lot of those. So I guess we can split those colors up. I don't know if that's important or not. Uh, here we have some little tokens. I sort of know what these do, but I, I've, I've forgotten, so I don't want to speak on that yet. Uh, I'm going to have to look that up again. We've got these cards. I'm going to save that for last. And we've got the center board. So this is the loom. And, oh, it's it's nice and thick. It's thicker than the other cardboard on here. So that's nice. I like it when, you know, if you're going to spend a little extra to make some part of your board uh, or some part of your game better, it's good to do it with these, like, center pieces and stuff. And, oh, wow, that's cool. This, this is actually a little better than I expected. When I pulled out that first punch board, it was kind of thin. And I wondered. But this feels like it's... Uh, Oh, that's quite, that's, it's at least, uh, that's at least double the thickness of this other one. So, very nice. And that's not so bad for little things like this, but the, the bigger parts, I'm glad to see that that was, that's nice and substantial. Uh, no insert whatsoever, which sometimes it doesn't make sense to do one. And with this one, it might not. I mean, it's got a lot of bags of things. I don't think this is going to be too hard to put together. I'm wondering if these card stands... Uh, if these card stands are going to work uh, once they're assembled. I definitely would not want to, I definitely wouldn't want to try to like uh, put this, build this every time. That I like it when you can build it once and then it's done. One and done. The problem is if you have to take something down and put it back together a bunch of times, then it will wear down and eventually break. It looks like I can just sit here on camera actually and assemble this here. So get that going there. And I think there are four of these. Yeah, one to four players. All right, let's see here. It's a little taller than the box, but it can go sideways. Okay, so sideways, this is gonna fit in the box just fine. All right, no more worries then. We can work out the rest of it. That's even got a little bit of leeway, so I can figure that out. Now this wouldn't be too big a deal to put back together, just like a little a couple little wedges, but it's just one more thing that kind of keeps the game from happening. All right, I'll leave that up for for a second. Now let's take a look at the cards. The cards are kind of the, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the big draw on this was for me. Uh, this thing was certainly really neat. All right, let's see what we got here for cards. So here we have four player aids, and kudos to you for adding player aids, especially even in a simple game, and especially in a simple game, to make it faster to set up and faster to get to people. You wanna be able to hand these out, and they've provided us with four of them. Uh, take a brief look. Yeah, it's got an on your turn, how to score, end of the game bonuses, and on the back, uh, on the back is an explanation for guild favors, which are, um, I think, little extra perks you can get along the way. All right, so that's that. And here are the cards. Now, we'll be randomly drawing these cards out of this uh, bag here. So I guess I'll need to shuffle these up. Looks like the printing isn't quite right on this. Got a little bit of a, little bit of a misprint right there. This side looks great. That side's got a little bit of an oopsie. Eh, it's not so bad, though. For what it is. All right. Looks pretty cool. Uh, here's all the patterns. 
So they do have different facings on one side. And then the other side, they're going to have different combinations of the colors. So, so as you see right there at the bottom, those are the, those are the cubes that you'll need to pull to complete this. And once this, this card is complete, it's going to be slotted into your, uh, your little card holder right here. And then you'll be scoring based on the color and the pattern uh, and what order they're in. Like if you can get other patterns next to it that match. So if you can get other patterns next to it that match. Whoop. <laughs> I guess you maybe can get more points or something like that. I'm not sure. I still need to read the rule book, but uh, yeah. That's kind of basically what it's like. And uh, it's just got lots and lots of these cards. Of course, I'll need to shuffle these up, I imagine. And get them ready. I think short term, because they're all the same, and I imagine... Uh, it plays in three rounds, so uh, the cards probably aren't a timer for it. So I'm going to just go ahead and store these in here. And it's a nice convenient place to put the player aids as well. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through this whole, I'm going to go through this whole box of uh, punch boards. I'm going to pull it all out and assemble it and then we're going to put it back in the box and see what it's like. I'll be right back. Alright, so we've got it all pulled out of the box. Everything's assembled. It is now technically ready to play. So I'm going to go through uh, my thought process of sorting this out without even having played it. And we're going to put it back in the box. We're going to spin that box around and see how it does. <laughs> Alright, so uh, the most complicated thing are probably going to be these little uh, pre-assembled uh, card holders. This has been assembled and it is, it is pretty cool. So the cubes are going to go in this little ridge right through here. And this spins around and I think what you're going to do is you're going to put one of these wooden tokens here on the side and as this spins around it will activate that or maybe end the round I think is what it does. Like when this makes it one whole revolution then that ends the round and this will move by people pulling the cubes out and then you'll slide this up to fill in the gap anyway this is probably one of the first things to put down when you do this so i'm actually gonna I, my impulse is to put this in the bottom but i think i'm gonna hold this out and put it a little closer to the top so the other little components here we have are these little uh these little guild tokens so like these are already in a bag these are just kind of go in like this we got all of these monies so it gave us a number of bags to sort things with. One, two, three, four, five, six bags. But we don't even really have six things to put unless we were supposed to sort these colors out. But I kind of don't think I kind of don't think you are. In fact, I, I believe, if I remember correctly, these are being pulled randomly out of the bag. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to store them in the bag. So they are just kind of ready to play. I'm just going to leave the silica gel in there. <laughs> I'll have, maybe it'll help. And then I'm going to seal this up. And that is done. All the cards are already uh, put in this bag. And it's got the player aids and all the playing cards and stuff. I have not shuffled this or anything yet. But I'll, have to, I'll do that before I play. I always leave stuff unshuffled because I have a couple of friends that really that seem to it calms people down while they're waiting for you to set up the game. So it's something you can give them to do, like shuffle these cards. Uh, this bag's kind of kind of raunchy. I'll use this new bag here at least, and I uh, I don't feel like feel like uh, these tokens maybe could use a bag. I'm not so sure about the the overstock. This money definitely. In fact, I usually. I usually we put this in a little, maybe a Tupperware bin. I guess I'll, I'll play this game and see how I like it. And if I like it a lot, maybe this will graduate to a Tupperware bin. Sometimes these little bags take up less space. And we might have a space issue once we go to put the, the, um, the card holders in. So it's just, all right. So we know that's going in there. Maybe we should play with these things first. So we got these uh, card holders. 
And I'm just going to start kind of So I think what I'll do now is I'm going to take these smaller things. There's a gap underneath these. So maybe the smart thing would be just to put some other stuff in. I'm just going to toss these in there. Loose. These I'll put in a bag because it look, looks like they can kind of go everywhere and we're going to have to sort them out. I think you're going to shuffle these and pull them out as, as objectives. You kind of pull those out once a game and sort it, so might as well put them together. Yeah, and they kind of fit under that. All right. These things, you know, just to keep them from going everywhere when I spin it around, I think I will I'll go ahead and throw these in a bag. Why not? Slide that in there. Uh, these guild favors. I believe they could just go in their own little bag. In fact, we'll just throw these in with them. All right. That's all sorted out. All right, not, not a lot of components. Oh, wait, yeah, we got the bags of things. So we got, I'm gonna put these on the end. Okay, let's see how these go in. All right, all right, so far so good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's what I like to see. And now, this thing, okay. So, big problem I see so far, there's a, there's kind of a big air gap. That means things are gonna, things are gonna move around and stuff, we'll see. We'll see, maybe it might be, well, having those bags there is kind of keeping that in check. So, let's just throw in the instructions and onto this. All right, so we have two extra bags. Uh, not sure if this ring is important. This is, I, I think I just punched this out, but I've like saved it because I'm, I'm worried about it. Eh, it's not me. Okay, but how's it gonna do on your shelf? How's it gonna do <laughs> when, you, when you put it in a bag and take it to the car and stuff? Are you gonna go, um, are you gonna go on an airplane? Are you gonna mail it to someone? Or are you just gonna like gently put it on the shelf and hope it's okay? We'll see how it did. Spun, spun around. I'm not too worried about this one. It didn't have so many components. Okay. Oh, wow. You know what? Almost, almost exactly the way we left it. I don't see any reason to change anything. These things have been very, very effectively kind of keeping everything down. They seem to, this one seems a little loose, but that could have been my assembly. My assembly wasn't complete on that maybe. Because all the other ones look fine. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's exactly the way to do it. This is going to be great. And I will be pulling this out in probably an hour and playing on it. <laughs> So thanks so much for joining me. If you like this video, please click like. It really helps a lot. And hit subscribe. I'd love to see you again. I'll be doing more unboxings as things come in. Uh, this is kind of not a review or anything, just a quick preview of a production copy of a game. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy your games. We'll see you soon.